is Juneteenth, the holiday that honors the end of slavery in the United States, and there are celebrations happening all around the tri-state. Eyewitness News reporter Derek Waller live outside Central Park on the Upper West Side with more. Good morning, Derek. Sherlene, good morning, and those Juneteenth celebrations started early over the weekend with some Broadway stars singing the Black National Anthem in Times Square. Well, the outdoor celebration Sunday features songs, dances, and spoken word by more than 25 performers from hit Broadway shows like Chicago, A Beautiful Noise, and Sweeney Todd. Juneteenth, June 19th, 1865 marks the day emancipated slaves in Galveston, Texas finally found out they were free more than two years after President Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation. When I think about Juneteenth, I think about the resilience and the uh, the strength of, of black folks. And um, I am the ancestor, uh, though my ancestors are who thought for me to be able to be the host today as I'm standing here. Uh, so I'm the dream of those of those ancestors. And later today, Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey is going to deliver a speech on Juneteenth. Of course, he uh, introduced the bill that made this a federal holiday two years ago. And we're also standing outside Central Park on Sunday. They actually uh, marked this designation as uh, Seneca Village, which was uh, one of the first all black communities made up of emancipated slaves back in the 1850s. So lots more happening today as well. Reporting live.